Now, failure is a natural process that happens to everyone, and failure can easily come across any stage of life for anything that could easily be something that you might not even expect in this world. However, there's always this general fear of failure that, oh, I'm going to fail at this and then swear. I'm overall afraid of this overall idea about it. For the purposes of this video, I'll first of all start off by talking about the different aspects within your life, different tasks that you do, different things that you do, that you might actually recognize are different habits in itself that might actually start to think, oh, okay, this I'm doing these type of things out of my fear for failure. And then afterwards, I'm also going to talk about the different ways in which you can actually stop fearing the idea about failure. I think it's overall recognizing as well that failure isn't overall bad but it's just an opportunity that you can look at it in a different perspective obviously at that moment at that stage you know your whole world might be crashing down and nothing else seems to be right but it could be like a couple of you know years down the line a couple of times after some time has passed you might be able to look at it as a learning opportunity in itself as well otherwise i'm aiden i'm a medical student studying in england and i make videos such as for productivity for studying and other tech related ones as well along with these type of videos where i talk about different perceptions and how you can actually recognize them and make yourself overall better so you can other tasks as well can start becoming generally better through it so starting off with accomplishing anything that you deem worthwhile has this sheer fear of sprinkling of failure that come along with it if you fear failure the downside to that is you would not want to try anything that might actually lead up to it even if there is a risk of failing but there is no certainty about it you will be more so aversive to not be try that new technique or even try that activity to begin with it could even be to the point where if you fear failing so much you might not be achieving your full potential and henceforth underachieving in majority of the tasks or any of the activities that you actually deem worthwhile. So let's start off by talking about the three ways in which you can recognize that you have your fear of failure. Starting off with the first one, you may not be aggressively or enthusiastically pursuing the goals and achievements that you want to go over. You obviously have a few goals and achievements that you like to go through. You would like to achieve those long last or even short term goals that you have set yourself with. Or even you could be at the stage where you haven't actually set those goals and that could even be another the form of taking a risk because you don't want to set those goals in the risk of them not being achieved in the risk of you not completing them and that in itself is a factor of fear fear of failure that you not be able to actually achieve it to the satisfaction that you are able to be happy about it and be proud about it this lack of goals are having the difficulty of make decisions are you being aggressively making moves towards achieving those goals are being enthusiastic about any of the goals that or opportunities that come on in which will actually help you reach the goal a bit more faster or a bit more easier you're not able to do that and that's all because of this fear of failure second is perfectionism that in itself is a sign of failure as well you know there are people who are obsessive or are, are obsessed over a particular set of ways a particular set of rules in which they are more comfortable in and that's the way in which they will actually go with i'm not talking about set criteria set rules and regulations that everyone has to follow i'm also talking about certain arrangement of tasks certain ways and, and methodology which some people actually prefer to do and don't want to actually change through it because that's the system and that's what they recognize it also goes to the point of perfectionism and i'm talking to the to their perspective that this is the perfect way to do it there is no other way in which that needs to happen then it's for there's no need to change it there's no need to add on to it and this perfectionism itself is the fear of failure mainly because then you will start dealing with things that are not in the way in which you would like them to you finally you may also start procrastinating not actually starting on those tasks and self-sabotaging yourself through it and what that means is that you are actually escaping from the idea of having to do those tasks you're escaping from the want to do those tasks by doing on other mundane uh, pointless activities to for that matter and to the point where it's seemingly that mentally you're running away from having to do those tasks so that you don't have to think about once you finish them that you have not done it to the satisfied level it's also to the point where you unintentionally create situations yourself in which you are disabled to actually do those tasks you don't enable yourself to be able to complete those tasks or those accomplishments that you need to do therefore it just becomes easier to blame your lack of progression through those external factors those through those any things that you may think that oh it's because of these reasons that you weren't able to do it and not thinking that you've created that situation yourself instead you're blaming the situation or the nature of the situation 
to your inability to progress our inability to do the task in reality you may not be allowing yourself to follow through in the way in which you need to to mainly because of the fear of failure in a way in which you need to complete it i'm sure having gone through all of those and there might be more situations as well but these situations might seem familiar to you where you're having to procrastinate where there's only certain sets of rules that you're really adamant about that you would like to follow are just not setting yourself goals or not going through those goals as prop as much as you would have liked to if so here are now five steps in which you can overcome those fear of failures first things first let's actually broaden how we define failure failure in itself is subjective what one person may deem as a failure, as an epic fail, as um, for the lack of the better term, may not actually be for someone else. For example, if you fear hosting a party on the off chance that no one will show up, you will subconsciously then say that you will prevent yourself in all occasions to not host a party at all and avoid hosting events altogether at the same time. However, if you reframe your thinking and your perspective, even if a few friends come up, if a few gathering of people come up, you may actually deem that a bit more enjoyable than large crowds of people swarming into that place for a get together. It's always the idea that, oh, there's not a lot of people coming in a party, that's say or an event and so it's not going to be good or uh, no one will actually come up uh, even if some people there's not a lot of people that you expected came up it's about the quality of time that you spent with those small gathering of people that would make it a bit more enjoyable than you initially think henceforth the fear or initial idea about you failing and not a lot of people coming in just becomes redundant over that simple idea. Therefore, you can then judge the success of the party or the event through the interactions that you have, through the quality of people and how they actually felt the overall party event, whether they actually enjoyed themselves. That is a lot better versus just having a lot of a crowd of people going in. By expanding how you measure success, you can that you can actually find a way to measure your accomplishments as well and evaluate them, even if you don't achieve the desired outcome at this one. So what this means is that you can strive for multiple outcomes and you're more likely to achieve at least one of them. Next up is recognizing that failure is not always your fault if it does happen. If you start internalizing all of these negative experiences, you may find yourself indulging on the idea of self-blame and feeling sorry for yourself. This mindset can lead to self's further self-sabotage as well. This again creates the idea of creating obstacles, of creating such scenarios which will prevent you to do this task and prevent you from accomplishing it any further. It is important that you recognize that some failures some obstacles are beyond your control you don't have any control over and they are still bound to come up and become obstacles on your journey or progression towards your goal and it could very well be that you may overcome those obstacles those hurdles that you come and you're able to jump over them however there might be an occasional few where you might not be able to however that should only be recognized on the off chance that you may not be able to achieve them but you wouldn't know unless if you try a lot of people just don't get to that stage to begin with a lot of people don't try so they won't even know if it's a hurdle if it's a obstacle that they would be able to have overcome so the idea is to not be too hard on yourself and keep trying even if there's a setback thirdly is not to fixate on other people's achievements avoid comparing yourself with others and what they have achieved because that's a very dangerous game to play the idea is that you only know the tip of the iceberg the achievement that they have gone through you don't know what the journey is that they took what steps they took to achieve that you don't know all of the bottom of the iceberg which is un hidden underneath the sea level all of the hardships that they came over you only know the achievement and that's not a realistic or a true reflection of everything that they came over to achieve that which is only the surface level of what's to display similarly they don't know your setbacks they don't know your journey your journey is unique to yourself as how you are as a unique individual the way you perceive the world the way you interact with different opportunities the different opportunities themselves and the nature of them that came across to you are several times different to what they achieved because these differences even though they might seem minute in the surface level can have significant outcomes at the end result therefore it's more important and it's better to focus your energy on your own path and the achievements that you're going to make further down the line and the ones that you've already made as well focus on your own pace and set that as the only focus and requirement that you need to start thinking about next up is actually envisioning this worst case scenario and by envisioning it you're more so better prepared about it as well 
if it does touch wood ends up happening think it to yourself what is the worst that could happen and then you can start considering yourself okay if it does tend to happen how would i best handle that situation when you're prepared for the worst it takes some fear and anxiety out of the equation of course that still means that there will be fear and there will be anxiety there but it will be reduced drastically to be able to ensure that you are having a better analysis of the situation mainly because you've already thought about it but it's less emotionally driven chances are you may not even actually come across or think about that initially you might be thinking that the outcome of the failure or the consequences of those failures is worse or it's bad but once you actually sit down and think about it rationally you may start realizing that oh it's actually not that bad after all or it's not as bad as i was initially thinking preparing yourself for the worst case scenario will help boost your confidence that if in the off chance it does happen you're confident in, so, in yourself because you prepared for it henceforth it gives you the courage to be able to overcome it now at number five lastly is appreciate the value of failing in medicine there's a very common saying that goes it is dangerous when you don't know what you don't know knowing how things can go wrong helps people appreciate the scope of it the scope of the failure itself and the consequences as mentioned earlier you don't really know the downside of it or you don't really appreciate it unless if you experience it to some level already failing teaches you something already so it's better to see how far you can go on your own before it actually comes again see how far you can actually travel and how much success you can actually do before a failure hits and once it happens that gives you an opportunity to evaluate yourself take a step back see what actually happened and what led to it and then that way you can then correct your course and continue going fail in other words is just first attempt at learning which a lot of people look over it's mainly because when you fail it just means that you didn't you were doing it for the first time and you can look at this occasion learn from it so that this doesn't happen in the future or you can overcome it if it does happen in the future as well because you have already experienced it it's not realistic to expect that the course of whatever journey you're taking is completely mapped up for you and it's completely panned out for you for every single time and you know you're going to know what the best course of action would be so the idea is and the best thing to do is keep moving forward and keep continuing to go at it until it's no longer working for you then take a step back evaluate that scenario appreciate that this is a setback that happened and you can't continue with this step anymore and then redirect it learn from it that learn from that experience so that you can redirect and go to a different map a different direction within the map to continue with the course and while doing that you can always utilize the previous mindsets that i talked about to overcome that fear or failure or the general idea about it so once you actually redirect to the next course you're more prepared you're more confident and you have a better outlook about what's already has happened but yeah that was the overall idea of recognizing that you have a general fear of failing and then the steps that could be taken for minimizing the overall fear and then instead of turn it into a learning experience let me know down in the comments below which one of those steps that you preferred or which ones you actually like the best share this video with anyone that you may think would need this but until otherwise i'll see you in the next video